there is the phenomenon of failed dependency, which is the essence of dramatic experience, failed dependency, which the first consequence of failed dependency and traumatic experience is, in my opinion, the fear of annihilation, that we will be wiped out, that our lives and our psychic lives are in danger, and that our safety membranes have failed us. It begins with fission and fragmentation and a number of psychotic anxieties associated with it, like feeling you're falling apart, disappearing, dissolving, your identity is going, and you're fragmented. In my view, the first line of defense is fusion and confusion with whatever is you left of the self with whatever you can find around in total, a whole person or a part of the person who is assumed to be sufficiently competent and full that could be an object of rescue, that you could be helped by. So fusion and confusion becomes a kind of psychotic clinging against fission and fragmentation. The great problem with this very primitive defense, you can get stuck in this process of falling apart or fusing and confusing, and then going back into falling apart because that's the first line of defense against losing your identity by suffocating and clinging. So you get this oscillation back and forth, back and forth. It sometimes doesn't stop fail to make relationships because who can relate to somebody who psychotically clings or who can relate to somebody who is so withdrawn back and forth, back and forth. It doesn't end very easily. And many people bring it to a close through what I call a process of encapsulation, creating a psychic membrane around the phenomenon gets hived off, split off, put in a dis disassociated area of psychic life, it continues to go on like a beehive buzzing back and forth, back and forth, like, like harnets, you know, in the attic of your house. But at least we can get on with our lives. There is a hiving off so that one feels from then on you're never completely whole. Failed dependency and traumatic experience back and forth, back and forth, you're never completely whole.